Another look at your forecast. Again, we are tracking strong to severe storms across the Gulf Coast right now, but the biggest concern at this time is going to be gusty straight line winds, heavy downpours, but mainly the hail threat that we're starting to see so far, especially for our inland areas. Now going ahead, taking a look at the map, you can start to see a lot going on here. That pink coloration that includes the Foxton viewing area, the entirety of it, that's going to be that severe thunderstorm watch. This is going to be in effect until later on this evening. I know things are quiet and calm right now in Mobile, Baldwin, County is really the Florida panhandle, but it's going to be changing heading later on into today. Really expecting things to be ramping up by the four and five o'clock hour closer towards Mobile and Baldwin County is the majority of the staying further inland so far. So really Green County, Washington, Clark, Monroe, Conecuh and Escambia counties in Alabama seeing the bulk of that. Now let's go ahead and talk more about these severe thunderstorm warnings that we're seeing so far. Again, one of them is going to be for Green County, the other one Washington and Clark County. So Millery, Grove Hill, Jackson, you're all included in that and then tracking just a little bit further towards the east. We're really seeing some of that in Escambia County, plus also Santa Rosa and Okaloosa counties and Florida. A lot of those storms are heading your way. The biggest difference with some of these, the National Weather Service, they are putting different tags on these. And pretty much what that means is that they can classify these severe thunderstorm warnings at different levels. These have been upgraded. These have seen considerable but also destructive tags, meaning that these are destructive storms pushing through. So far in Waynesboro, we've seen reports of golf ball sized hail. Even earlier, we saw reports of baseball sized hail possible in Greene County. So we're talking very large hail stones that could be falling from the sky and so that's why we're cutting in for this coverage so far for this afternoon. Now taking a look at radar at this time again things pretty isolated it may be calm and sunny and hot where you currently are but things looking a little bit different as you head further inland so really Greene County Leakesville beginning to see a lot of that heavy rain just closer towards Vinegar Bend Citronelle that's heading your way tracking some of that lightning these are going to be loud storms especially on the back end of that really just keeping a close eye on that system. System. Also just moving a little bit further towards the north, Chatham, Millery, and just closer towards Jackson, Grove Hill. Things pretty calm for you right now. That's going to be the good news. Mainly expecting these to track further towards the southeast. So really Jackson, Choctaw Bluff, McIntosh, you're going to be up next to see some of these storms as they continue on that southeasterly trek. And then just transitioning again, this is mainly impacting our inland spots at this time. Evergreen mainly just seeing some scattered look with some of those storms. But Bradley, however, if you're on the eastern side of Bruton, things are loud in that portion, especially beginning to see some of that pink coloration on the radar there. That's really where you can keep a close eye on some of that hail formation. So we're starting to see a lot of that so far for our areas just in Escambia County, Alabama there. But looking at just a little bit closer, the Parker Springs area, the Roberts area just tracking closer towards Bradley Road and Marietta Road. That's really where we're seeing a lot of that rain or that heavy rain plus also some of that hail development. Now going ahead, checking in on our hail tracker so far, jumping back over. This is going to be just closer towards Greene County, so the Leakesville area, but that yellow coloration, you can start to see that bar at the top there. That's looking to be close to about two inches for that hail size there. Again, that's what's prompted some of these destructive tags, but also checking in just closer towards Washington County. Luckily, not seeing as much hail development still under that severe thunderstorm warning, just with the heavy downpours that we're seeing, the gusty winds that could be pushing through. But really, this is Scambia County tag. This is the one that's recently been upgraded to that destructiveness that we could see. Checking in on the hail amount size there. This is mainly going to be around that inch to about two inches. And again, no confirmed reports yet from these areas. That does also include Okaloosa and Santa Rosa counties in Florida as it continues just to track further towards the southeast. So as it does continue on that track, mainly expecting the Munson area, Crestview, you'll eventually start to see these storms just within about the next 30 minutes to about an hour as they are continuing just on that southeasterly trek. But again, in case you are in these areas, in case you're going to be traveling anytime soon, do be cautious that we are still starting to see some of that severe thunderstorm watch in effect. I keep saying it, but I know that it's quiet so far in Mobile and Baldwin counties, but I'm not expecting it to stay that way.
I want to go ahead and run through the future cast real quick with you uh, before we go ahead and let you return to your programming here. But as we time things out so far, what we're starting to see is mainly some of those inland showers and thunderstorms. The future cast a little bit off. However, it's showing Escambia County completely quiet at this time and showing showers and thunderstorms just closer towards Mobile County. But as we make our way later on into this afternoon, I'm expecting more of those showers and thunderstorms to push further towards the southeast. Increased coverage Mobile Baldwin County is a Florida Panhandle, and then we'll even start to see some isolated potential heading closer towards seven and eight o'clock. Luckily, Saturday night plans if the future cast verifies it hasn't been performing that well for the past couple of days, then we'll really start to see some major improvements heading into your Saturday evening. But we'll have team coverage here on Fox 10 News keeping you updated. I know it's just another day we rinse and repeat with some of these strong to severe thunderstorms across the Gulf Coast. And if you're not seeing anything yet, you most likely will heading later on into this afternoon and this evening it is imperative to stay weather aware. Um, we do have our Fox 10 weather app. You can download it there at the bottom. That'll send you push alerts, especially so far for the areas that have been seeing hail. Uh, we can send specific push alert notifications to those areas that we've received reports. So I've been doing some of that. So if there is confirmed hail heading your way, we will send you that push alert notification. That way you have a heads up just to know what's going on across the Gulf Coast. But again, Here's a look at that severe thunderstorm watch in place. The biggest risk that we're looking at, the damaging winds, the hail is the biggest concern heading into today, but also we could start to see some more flash flooding potential with right now the SPC watching the potential to see around two to three inches of rainfall per hour from some of these storms, just getting buckets and buckets of rain heading later on into today. We're going to work hard to keep you updated right here on Fox 10. Again, mainly just severe thunderstorm warnings at this time with the biggest concern being that hail potential. I'll cut into your coverage in case we do have any more updates with you. If you have any questions, you can always message me on Facebook with any of that, but I'll work to keep you updated on air and online, plus our Fox 10 weather app.